awesome. It's how, at the Cherry Lane. How long uh, did it take you to put this show together? Ten years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not something. Wait, is this a, a one-woman show? Yeah. Or? Oh. It's a one-woman show, but it's she a play. plays a bunch of characters. Yeah, I play myself at different ages, and I just tell my life story about how I got beat up when I was a wow, kid. Wow, how narcissistic <laughs> of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? And now I'm like Sue's manager, but like, look at Sue. You know how beautiful she is. She was like a geeky little kid. Yeah, well, yeah I looked like cool. a boy when I was little. Really? So it's really? cool because the show is all about like how I got beat Wait, up as a kid and I didn't fit in, and so everybody identifies with it. I mean, you have a fairly large chest. How did you look like a boy? Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's his first day back. You know from, it's so funny because when I came in to talk hospital. to him, it's so funny. He started talking, and I was like, "What is he saying?" I'm like, "This guy does not look like he talks like that." Like, like, <laughs> what do I look saying, like? Cre you look like kind of normal, and then you started talking. I'm like, this guy's off. It's <laughs> you, you didn't get the psycho vibe right away? No, because I've never been in... No, you know, like to be nice at first. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then you put first. up your boundaries really quick. Okay. <laughs> I, I guess well, I, if you're healthy, you do. I don't. <laughs> I put up no boundaries. Yeah. I've got people on the street, like, touching me and licking my arm. And, yeah, no. You mostly get creepy. Do you get a lot of creepy guys, uh, Lynn? Yeah. Look, turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Look how quiet they got when I was talking. See how, like, they, 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 yeah, yeah. They, Wait, all, I all the freak shows. That I didn't loving. make a single pass at you. Stop complimenting Plus, your question so was dumb. Oh, oh, First God, of all, that's not a compliment. Not a compliment. <laughs> they even come back with an attitude. Yeah, his, his question was dumb. I didn't make too. a pass at you. He's retarded. Because yeah. he said my chest was big and uh -oh. how could I look like a boy? It's like, duh. That's how he's flirting. When you're a flirting. kid, you don't have a chest. Sure, sure. Right? So it's not even, no, it's well, not even. Bring Dave in for the commentary that we wouldn't come up with. He's not even. What? He's not even <laughs> looking at your real chest. He's just imagining you. Yeah, on seriously. Crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Really just crazy, I think. So, so, so tell me a little bit more about, about the show. Uh, it's called Minus 32 Million Words. Yeah, that's the reason why it's called that is because uh, I grew up my whole life fist fighting, and everybody always told me I should use my words instead of fist fighting. Where, where did you grow up? Boston, in the city of Boston. Oh, okay, well, yeah. that makes sense all yeah. of a sudden. Sure. And then uh, I educated myself, and I read an article one day in the New York Times that said that poor kids hear 32 million less words than rich kids. <laughs> really? So I was like, well, I never had the words. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. 32 million less words than, than rich, rich kids? kids. Yeah, yeah, they, they was in, it was on the radio, actually, last week. Uh, they hear less words by the age of two, and they hear the words that they hear are usually negative as opposed yep. to positive words. So yep. it's like this cycle of poverty. Yeah, it's cool. And so the whole show is about how I was, like, repeating my past and going on and on until I found this one person, this one teacher who taught me about love and how to change. That's, That's great, because now you use words as, like, your career and your whole living, and you showed them! Yeah. yeah. No, and it's funny, because everybody says after they see the show, they say, I don't know what to say. And it's like, that's ironic, because the show's called mm -hmm. Minus. So the whole show's about, like, learning how many use words to use and knowing which words to use. Like, Who was beating you up? Was it girls or, or boys? Everything. We fought. Everybody just fought all the time. Well, I where grew up with, you... like, the Wahlbergs. Like, Tracy Wahlberg was the <laughs> toughest girl ever. Uh, yeah? Yeah, she beat up Phil Barano at dance. <laughs> 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 she was her boyfriend, and he cheated on her. We walked into Dance Factory, and she just, like, kicked his butt all over. Sounds like he wow. had it coming. Yeah, he probably did. Lynn, did you ever get beat up when you were a girl? Oh, uh, yeah, constantly. When really? you were a girl? When she was it's young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what you used to be. Right. Back you're before still, the sex change. You're still really young. So, you're still really young, so you haven't been the recipient of this yet. But it, 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 it happens. I'm, 40, I'm 41 now, and like uh, someone recently told me that I was good looking for an older woman. God. And I honestly, I almost came unwrapped. I'm well, like, how old were they? Older than time. what? Yeah. yeah. Older than young. <laughs> well, if they're young, though, they would think that you're older than Well, them. I thought he was young, but it turns out he's like 30. He's oh, you don't that. need that from some 30-year-old? I know, why not? Completely crazy. Unfortunately, yeah. he's watching my dog, so I had things to be. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do anything in that yeah. situation. You want your dog alive. Yeah, but that would be a situation where he should not use his words. Right, yeah, right. Exactly. So when, so when you were, for, when you were very young, you were beaten up as well. You're saying. Yeah, I was, I was geeky as well. Although I, <laughs> I can't talk about it as openly as Sue can because I'll just start crying and get upset. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stand to profit from my you know, at all in any way at all. But my shrink does, and that's good. Um. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I was, and kids called me Frankenstein and beat me up for being ugly. Wow. Um, you know, and soon I bonded on that. Like, if, when you're beat up for being ugly, it's really, there's no recourse. you're both recourse. very attractive women now, so you, Well, you, you I mean, know. there was nowhere to go. Um, <laughs> for That's me, good, right? for me, there was we nowhere win, to go. We win, we win, we win, we win. Yeah, it's Yay. a good thing they became beautiful otherwise. Um, <laughs> but I still feel, I don't feel She's like beautiful. I'm beautiful. I don't feel beautiful. I, yeah, I, I, I. 
so, 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 that so inside you you still feel horrible, but outside you look good. Not as much anymore. I'm starting to feel better. Thank God, because if you don't want to, you want to like work it while you have it. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. girls will come up to me, and when you have, I guess they when you have low self esteem when you grow up like that, you don't think you look like anything. And girls will come up to me and they're like, "You trying to sleep with my boyfriend?" I'm like, sleep with your boyfriend? I can barely get out of bed in the morning. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same way. I'm like, sleep with what? Like, I, I mean, for years, if a guy even waved to me or something, I would I would literally be looking behind me like, what? who's he talking to? Like, okay. I, I never thought. So my question to both of you is, how does a guy like me find women with low self-esteem before they figure out? <laughs> all my old boyfriends used to say that to me. Yeah, grab some in your book. No, all my old boyfriends used to say that to me. I, I want to find both of you before you got self-esteem. That's <laughs> My old boyfriend used to say, I like going out with you because you don't know how hot you are. And I yeah. thought that was like a compliment. I'm like, oh, good, I'm not uppity. But it's yeah. like really like oppressive. No, yeah, it, mean, it means like I'm really glad that you don't realize that and I have the real expensive me. couch and I can just keep it and sit on it and do nothing. <laughs> I want to find the Lynn Cobblets of things I'm in early. <laughs>